So today I'm going to show you a very popular buzzer pattern. Um, it was a pattern that I believe was invented by um, the late Peter Batchelor. It's called a vicar. And you'll see why it's called a vicar as we, as we, as we dress the fly. Now there's a, a, a number of fairly simple ingredients or materials that we use. First of all we use some ordinary black thread. Um, you can use uni thread or whatever thread you choose. I've got some um, some silver mylar here, uh, tinsel mylar, whatever you choose to use. And I've got this um, stretchy elasticated beading wire or beading thread it's called. It's fairly stretchable uh, or fairly stretchy and um, you can buy it online. I think it's about a pound for a spool. Uh, this size is 0 0.06. I've got a size 14, uh, it's a, a check knife heavy black nickel and it's a filling mill hook and that's about it. So what we do is we start in the usual manner, we, we catch our thread on at the eye, take it back a few turns, take our fine point scissors, trim away the rat's tail. We want to take, I don't know, maybe four, six inches of your your beading elastic, this stuff here, and just catch it on uh, inside the thorax. Just catch it on there, like so. And then you want to take touch and turn, oops, touch and turns all the way back down. Stretch it all the way back down to the point where you're buzzer start. Some people like to take it right the way around the bend, some people like a, a sort of shorter body on the buzzer. It really doesn't matter, it's entirely up to you. And then back up the body in nice and neat touch and turns right to the point where you go inside the thorax, about there. Now take your fine point scissors, stretch that wee tail of elastic away and trim. And then just tidy that up with a few turns of the black silk like so. Now this time what you want to do is you want to take some of the mylar. You just take a wee short piece and cut about there and just catch it in. Just catch it inside the thorax there. Put a couple of turns on it there. And what you want to do is you want to actually take it back on itself. So we want to go back I don't know, maybe two, three turns, two or three overlapping turns, maybe just to the point where it's opposite the point of the hook there, and then take it back over itself, back inside the thorax, about there. Doesn't have to be too neat at this stage. You're going to cover it with the plastic thread, but, and then just trim that away there, and take that wee bit away at the bottom there. And then just tidy that up. There. Okay. Now, we're going to take our elastic thread and we're going to bed that first turn in. We're going to pull it fairly tight. We're going to go all the way back up and touch in turns. Now, take your time. Make sure you get touch in turns. It's not a race. Just keep it nice and neat there. Now as you approach the thorax, you can slacken off on the tension a wee bit and that will help you give a kind of wedge carrot sort of shape there. And you want to get maybe two or three turns over the silver mylar underneath. So there's one, two, and let's do another one just for good luck and then take the fourth and then lock that in with your thread there. And that really, at the end of the day, is the essence of the fly, is the, the wee kind of silver collar, and you can see now why they would call that a vicar. Trim away. Now, it's just a simple case now building up the thorax, and when I first saw this fly, uh, Peter Bachelor's flies tended to have a kind of round, bulbous thorax. I like a more kind of oval shape, but it's entirely up to you. So what I'll now do is I'll now build up the thorax. Now take your time. Nice, neat touch and turns. Just take your time. This is not a race. It's better that you get it right. 
take your time nice and slow just a few more turns just to get the shape like so and that's kind of how I prefer my my buzzer um, thorax, I don't know what you would call that, kind of pear shaped I suppose and then just put a wee whip finish in there, one, two, three turn whip finish and then just trim away. Now this time what you want to do is you want to take you know some varnish, UV, Sally Hansen's, whatever you use it, in this case I'm going to use some, some UV and just make sure you get that thorax covered all the way around. Turn your vice upside down if you need to. And just get make sure you get all those bits in there. Cover that thorax with your with your UV like so. Just make sure you catch every bit in. A bit fiddly but it's worth it in the end. So yep. Yeah. I think I've caught all of that there, maybe just missed a wee bit there. There you go. This time you come in with your UV torch and cure it off. There. Now the important thing about this fly is, is the style of the fly and I reiterate that this is not Peter Batchelor's original dressing, this is my version of his fly with the, with the, the, the elasticated thread over and that underbody can be any colour you like, it could be red, olive, brown, black, it really doesn't matter and again the collar can be any colour, I've seen it tied with holographic red, I've seen it tied with gold, all sorts of colours, it's about your requirements and what you think suits your particular fishing needs and your particular fishing waters. Fairly simple to tie and very, very effective, believe me. So go away, give it a go and let me know how you get on.